My name is Lukas Lindenroth. I'm a research fellow in the Surgical Robot Vision Group at VICE. And the project I'm presenting today is aimed at helping with intratympanic injections. Intratympanic injections are used to treat inner ear pathologies such as sudden sensory neural hearing loss and Meniere's disease. Um, they're commonly considered painful by patients um, and there's a lot of anatomy that needs to be avoided during the injection of the needle. Um, we've developed a soft robotic solution that is able to help with the needle guidance um, and at the same time stabilize the needle as to reduce the motion of the needle to increase comfort in the patient. So this is the soft robot. It's comprised of a harder silicon rubber core that is surrounded by a softer silicon rubber membrane. Um, you have six actuators inside the robot that enable motion. Um, upon inflation of these actuators, um, the membrane outside expands and this is what we use to generate motion inside the ear canal. The robot is comprised of a camera in its center, which can be used for visual guidance. Uh, with its help, we can identify anatomical landmarks to steer the robot to the desired insertion point. Just underneath the camera, the robot comprises of a needle guide, um, which is then used to insert the needle, feed the needle through the robot into the tympanic membrane. Um, so this is one of the injection molds that we use to fabricate the robot. Um, it is comprised of a shell element um, with the nodules that later on create these actuators um, and it has an inlet and an outlet for the silicon rubber. Uh, the lure lock is used to screw a syringe onto it which is then used to inject the rubber into the mold. We've created this phantom from patient specific CT scans. Um, here you can see the ear canal that is first of all 3D printed and then rubber coated to simulate soft tissue um, contacts with the robot. The phantom itself consists of the ear canal, a tympanic membrane that is also molded from silicon rubber and the middle ear portion that you are able to see through the tympanic membrane. The next stages of the project include the miniaturization of the prototype, volunteer studies as well as patient engagement and clinician trials.